What happens when a Muay Thai legend faces off against the most dangerous fighter in MMA? How do these giants clash in pursuit of one sweet victory? There's no need to wait any longer. Get ready to witness one of the most extraordinary battles in the history of Muay Thai and MMA. This historic fight took place during a one championship match where the Muay Thai legend, Rodtong Jitmuang Nan, faced off against Demetrius Johnson, the most dangerous fighter in MMA, who would emerge as the champion. Spectators were on the edge of their seats as Rodtang dominated the fight with his fast yet lethal Muay Thai style. In this round, Johnson, the MMA fighter, clearly just had to survive Rodtang's attacks. Since the first round followed Muay Thai rules, it was obvious that Rod Tang had the upper hand. After enduring the intense first round, Johnson finally began to shine as the fight transitioned to MMA rules. This round would clearly favor Johnson, putting Rod Tang in a difficult position. Sure enough, Johnson took full advantage of the round, executing a brilliant submission technique that left Rod Tang unable to continue the fight. Like a python, Johnson locked Rod Tang in a chokehold, rendering the Muay Thai legend unconscious. Who doesn't know the Muay Thai legend, Boacau Banchamek? He once faced Brazilian MMA fighter Andre Dita during the K1 World Max Championship in 2009, held in Japan. So, was the Muay Thai fighter far superior to Dita? When the bell rang, both the fighters and the audience were fully focused on the match. Both men were locked in, ready to launch precise and calculated attacks. But who would have guessed? The Muay Thai legend got caught off guard, allowing a hard punch from Dita to land directly on his face, momentarily causing him to lose his balance. Realizing that Buakau would struggle to regain his rhythm after the powerful hit, Dita seized the opportunity, using all his stamina to relentlessly attack Buakau. However, Dita didn't expect that Buakau would manage to hold on and survive through to the second round. By the time the third round began, Buakau was still in the game, matching the pace of the fight. His aggression eventually cornered Dita as Buakau's intensity became overwhelming. In the end, it was Buakau who emerged victorious. Buakau also faced off against another famous MMA fighter whose name remains unknown. This opponent had skills resembling those of an Aikido master. In the early round, Buakau was thrown to the ground due to a technique executed by the MMA fighter. Seeing that this strategy worked, the MMA fighter attempted the same move again. But Buakau wasn't foolish. He managed to block the attack and immediately launched a counterattack. Not wanting the fight to drag on, Buakau shifted his focus to injuring his opponent's legs. With repeated powerful kicks, this strategy successfully made it difficult for the MMA fighter to stay on his feet. In fact, several of Buakau's kicks that targeted the opponent's legs repeatedly caused the MMA fighter to fall. Still with the Muay Thai legend Buakau, this time, he is set to fight a strong kickboxer named Stoyan Koprivlensky. Will Buakau once again claim victory with his aggressive Muay Thai techniques? It didn't take long for Buakau to score, thanks to his powerful strikes. One punch was so strong that it knocked Stoyan down. Yeah, no, the 
Shortly after, Buakao's insane punching techniques managed to confuse his opponent. However, as the next round began, Stoyan seemed to recover, while Buakao's focus started to slip. Early in the second round, Stoyan landed a series of punches directly to Buakao's face. Even more impressive was Stoyan's kick, which struck Buakao's temple, causing the Muay Thai legend to lose his balance and fall. As a result, Stoyan emerged as the winner of this fight. I had a 29-27 for Stoyan. He's done it. He has done it. Stoyan now, moving on to another Muay Thai fighter named Nock V. Davi, who fought against a French kickboxer, Jerome Le Banner. Let's take a look at this match between two great fighters. To be honest, this fight was far from even, as Devi weighed only 72 kilograms, while Banner weighed in at 107 kilograms. The result was that Devi looked like a walking punching bag for Banner. However, that doesn't mean Devi couldn't fight back. On several occasions, Devi's Muay Thai kicks landed on his opponent's face. In fact, these kicks didn't just happen once, they continued into the later rounds, even causing Banner's nose to bleed. Nonetheless, because Devi's attacks were more about timing, while Banner kept up a constant barrage of strikes, the kickboxer still maintained the advantage when it came to points. You can also witness an epic battle when Muay Thai fighter Tur Silas Chum Fei faced off against MMA fighter Jacob Hebison. Want to see how exciting it was? Let's take a look at how these two fighters exchange blows. In the first round, Jacob was clearly more aggressive. However, Tur Silas's attacks were much deadlier. There was a moment when Tur Silas delivered a kick that caused his opponent to stumble slightly. Entering the second round, Tur Silas increased the pace of the fight, launching a flurry of attacks on the MMA fighter. Unfortunately for Jacob, this made it difficult for him to concentrate, allowing the Muay Thai fighter to land a kick directly to his face. Even more, Tur Silas followed up with another kick, this time to his opponent's temple, which prompted the referee to stop the fight. Due to this, Jacob had to accept defeat, and Tur Silas emerged as the victor in this fight. Oh, Michael, so much for Lerzilla, yeah. Mr. Lightning, who This time, Muay Thai legend Rod Tang went head-to-head -head with kickboxer Dennis Purich. So, who would come out on top? Early in the fight, Rod Tang managed to land a punch directly to his opponent's face. Not only that, a powerful punch from Rod Tang caused Purich's temple to start bleeding. Overwhelmed by Rod Tang's relentless attacks, Purik eventually fell. It was these relentless strikes that secured Rod Tang's victory in the fight.